Hey guys, today I'm here with another video and today's video is going to be an author binge vlog. An author that I am binging is Emma Hart. So yeah, bye guys and see you carry on watching the video. See you throughout this vlog, see you, bye guys. Just flat out update you is I'm currently 20% of the way through the first book that I am reading for this video of today's author binge, which is the Bookworm's Guide to Bookworm's Guide to Dating. And I thought I would actually read you the synopsis of each of these books. What I wanted for my birthday books, what I got for my birthday, my brother's best friend playing matchmaker. Let it be known that I can easily learn I'm 100% against being set up with somebody and I'm 1000% sure that Josh Carter is not the man to find me a boyfriend. I mean, if I'm so great, why isn't he the one dating me? For the record, I don't know the answer. That's just what the guy on the internet said, asked. Still, I'll humour him. If I go on his little dates, he'll teach me my bookish, my bookish introverted self how not to be totally, completely, utterly, unforgivably awkward and every single one of them. And all I have to do is fall in love with one of the lovely gentlemen who's serving up for me on a silver platter, all of whom fit my very specific guidelines. Simple, right? It would be, if only I could stop falling for jobs. Okay, so I'm currently 50% of the way through uh, the, good, the bookworms, run again, bookworms Guide to Dating. Did I fall apart? I can run up and, yeah, the Bookworms Guide to Dating. And I'm really enjoying this rom com. It is hella. It has some humour. Um, it's it's a cute, quick read, and it would be. I know it's winter, well autumn, but it would be a cute little beach read to read. It's just something light and fluffy, and it's easy. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this light and fluffy read. Um, I think it makes a change from what I do read. Um. So yeah, bye guys and see you on my next one guys. So I have just finished reading the Bookworm's Guide to Dating and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It was really cute and fun and it was a quick read and I am now in the process of downloading the next book that I want to read for this video which is Love Language. So I am going to read you the synopsis of Love Language. So an aristocrat and a gardener walk into the bar. And the barman says, never mind, they walked into a shed and they're kissing. Oops. My name is La Lady Gabriella Hastings and there are three things you need to know about me. One, my idiot brother will inherit the estate I've, I've adored my entire life. Two, my father wants me to marry an idiot who is in a state like this. Three, my aunt's goats keep escaping and terrorising the public. Oh, and I have a huge crush on the gardener. Except I have absolutely no time to sort my own love life because I'm too busy moonlighting is an online agony aunt to fix everyone else's problems. If only I could stop having inappropriate feelings about Miles Kingsley, the grumpy bearded gardener of Ar Aridwood Hall. He hates me and I'm not quite sure why. My own horticultural dreams are about to slip through my fingers and he's the one person who can help me. If only he wasn't such a classy spass, ahem. But when a storm leaves us unstranded, when, but when a storm leaves us stranded at this state of no power and one of my assignments means I need his help, and a, fancy pa a fa an, oh, and a fancy party forces trees to come to light. They might just be a chance for us after all. Hey guys, so I've got my hair, it is a mess. I just got out of bed before I get ready for work. But I thought I would update you is last night I got 15% of the way through Love Language by Emma Hart. So I thought I would give you at least an update and see how far along I am. So I'm going to get my uniform on, do my hair, and then I am going to read for, for another half an hour before I have to set off. So yeah, I will update you once I'm ready and ready a little bit more, hopefully. If not, you'll be updated when I get home from work. So, okay. Hey guys, I've just got a jumper on over my work shirt. 
but I am so ready as I have. <sighs> it looks like I've got through eighty seven percent of the way through with language. So when I finish work tonight, before I go to bed, I will quickly finish it. Okay, so I'm sorry about the light. Um, I'm just gonna have to get away with the Kindle light. But I have just finished reading Love Language by Emma Hart and I gave it three out of five stars. I did enjoy it but I didn't love it as much as I loved the book one was guide today in. And I think I am now going to download the accident the accidental girlfriend. I might read a chapter of that before I go to bed, but I will either give the synopsis of that in the morning when I have better light and then I will give you my reading of it. So yeah, bye guys and see you in my next clip. Hey guys, so I've I'd update you this last night, I didn't update you. Um when I went to bed, but I got twenty four percent of the way through the accidental girlfriend. And now I will read you the synopsis. So, top tip, don't put an online ad offering your services as a fake date. Someone will, someone will take you up on it and it won't just be for one night. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I ended up being Ma Mason Jackson's fake girlfriend. He didn't even want me, want me to be, no. His sister was solely responsible for me being his date for his 10 year high school reunion. Now she's responsible for telling his parents our relationship is real. We have no choice, we have to act like this is an all mistake, like, like it's not all fake, like we're totally, completely, utterly head over heels in love with each other. Simple, right? Wrong. So I will just read you the synopsis. There are some things we just have to deal with. Like your hot as hell college vehicle moving in next door with his adorable daughter. The only time we've ever gotten along is under the sheets. Old habits die hard because two minutes on my front porch is how long it takes us to bicker. Not that, I'm, not that a little fat that that bothers me. Bothers my healthy 80 year old grandmother and roommate who's determined to see me married before she bites the dust. Unfortunately for me, she's got a rise set on Cameron Black. She's barking up the wrong tree. He's not the one, no matter how much I swoon, when I see him with his daughter. I have no intentions of rekindling anything with him, until a rubber spider in my mailbox starts off the mother of all neighbourhood pranks. The prank was, just like the ones we had in college, and then throws me right into his path, one that leads right to his bedroom.